This is the Adventist School of Medicine of East Central Africa, an ultra-modern medical training facility that is set to prepare medical professionals with appropriate knowledge, skills, and attitudes to provide and promote Christian holistic medical care. The school is hosted on the campus of the Adventist University of Central Africa in Kigali, Rwanda, but the entire church across East Central Africa region has cause to celebrate what God has helped them together to accomplish. This medical school is centrally a humanitarian project. This project is going to touch the lives of everyone in East Central Africa division, in that uh, it is going to begin to tell people that there is someone somewhere who cares deeply about them. What I like most uh, is really the training of our young uh, medical doctors who will stay longer than those who come as missionaries. And that kind of uh, sustainability is going to make a big difference in our hospitals. The inauguration of the new Adventist School of Medicine brought together over 1,000 dignitaries and leaders from the Rwandan government and Adventist institutions and organizations from around the world. Leading the delegation were the Rwandan President, His Excellency Paul Kagame, worldwide leader of the Adventist Church, Pastor Ted Wilson, and the church leader in the East Central Africa region, Pastor Blessius Ruguri. The inauguration celebrates the completion of the first phase of development for the training facility, which includes the new Adrian Paul Cooper Science Complex, a new 1,500-seat cafeteria and student center, a dorm facility for over 250 students, and a guest house for visiting faculty. I think all of us together can do something about so many families, so many people who are underserved by the medical system. And we are going to train medical doctors who are going to go out there and serve those many people who have been left behind. And so that, this makes me so excited about this project because we are going to make a difference. The most important, exciting part of this project is we will train doctors, qualified doctors, to reduce the suffering and offering quality service and save life. Future phases of the medical school project will include a teaching hospital, a library, dorms, a greenhouse, a new Adventist elementary and secondary school, and expanded housing for faculty, staff, and students. If we look at what's happening here today, this is just the beginning of what I believe the Lord has installed for the future. We still have a hospital that needs to come up. So we praise God for these achievements that are being done. We look forward for what God is gonna do for us in the future. President Paul Kagame noted that the Adventist Church has been a valued partner of government in the provision of healthcare and education. A century of Adventist activity in Rwanda has demonstrated the positive impact of shared vision and good collaboration. By fulfilling your pledge to establish a medical school serving East and Central Africa, you have reaffirmed your commitment to a productive partnership that benefits not only Rwanda, but the entire region. President Kagame has further demonstrated his commitment to the new project by challenging the Adventist Church to immediately begin plans for a new teaching hospital. Kagame has offered not only to assist the church in finding land for such a project, but also support its funding. We will find land. We will also find money to add to what you have collected. Pastor Blessius Ruguri revealed how important the vision and encouragement of Rwandan President Paul Kagame has been in not only bringing the school to Rwanda, but in amplifying the church's vision for what such a school could mean to the region. This is not one of those projects that we just uh, picked up for wishful thinking. This is very central to our hearts because we know that 
this project has a very deep potential for touching lives in all its totality. General Conference President Ted Wilson in his remarks shared how such a school is an expression of the heart of Adventist mission. This medical school will make a difference in the lives of people as they focus on the master physician and his blended ministry of reaching people physically, mentally, socially, and spiritually. Wilson shared that the mission to restore health is an essential aspect of spiritual restoration. The school is expected to bring nearly 60 students from the East Central African nations each year where they will be trained not only as world-class physicians at the new state-of-the-art medical school, but gain valuable experience in community health management by returning to their nations to invest in health projects throughout their time as students at the medical school. What inspires me most about this project of building a medical school is that education mixed with health care will attract many people to our savior, and that's my desire. It is expected that students from the new medical school will become leaders who provide a transformative influence in their nations through their service.